Just kind of take me through the end of your Supercross season. You were so close to the podium many times. Did you feel like you really kind of took that next little step with the bike, with yourself and everything towards the end of Supercross though? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think the biggest thing also is I was, I was more so racing uh, to go for a win and um, not just silly focused on like staying put and trying to just mm -hmm. ease a ride into a podium. So that was probably the most um, of what I was proud of, just uh, being able to finally just kind of turn my brain off and say I'm, I'm, I'm going for the best I can get and not um, settling. So yeah, I found I found some good strides towards the end of Supercross. Wish it would have been um, earlier, but obviously uh, I touched on it with you obviously before in another interview, but with the back and all that kind of stuff earlier in the season, it made it pretty hard. But um, yeah, made some strides at the end and I'm, uh, I'm pretty confident going in outdoors. So um, this place hasn't treated me well very often, but uh, yeah, if we can get out of here with a decent result, we'll be uh, we'll be good. What would be a decent result for you on a Saturday, though? Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna aim for the top five. Um, that's where I want to be. I want to kind of stay in that um, range. Every time you're in, in the top five, you're you're in contention for podiums, and mm -hmm. that's and that's what we need. So um, I'm gonna say top five. I'd be I'd be happy with coming out of here. But I mean, everybody knows like the real season kind of starts when you get through Hangtown and Paula. Yeah. So um, if we can get out of here healthy and just, you know, stacking up some decent results, we'll be fine. A lot of people are saying that they don't feel like they've had enough thirties under the belt or things like that before the, the season has begun. So how do you feel in that uh, mindset? Do you feel like you've done enough thirties that your fitness is there, the bike is all there and all that, or do you need a little bit more before we really feel comfortable with Jalik? Uh, no, nah, I feel pretty confident. I mean, I, I felt like I was in shape all year. Um, I've, I mean, I've been pounding 40 minute motos back home, so I'm, I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. Um, yeah, it is a quick turnaround from Supercross to, out, to outdoors, but I mean, if you are fit at this part of the season, it's, it's pretty tough. So, yeah. uh, now nah, I, I feel good. Um, obviously 30s at race pace is different than just 30s. Yeah. So, um, I'd say that might take a little getting used to, but at the end of the day, we've all been racing each other all year, so we're all going to come in pretty, pretty ready to go, despite, um, you know, people trying to bluff and say they're <laughs> not ready. Uh, and then lastly, getting the bike set up for outdoors. Do you feel like you've really deviated much from a base setup, or are you pretty happy with where you guys started from? Mm, no, I'm pretty happy where I'm at. I mean, I've, uh, I've made changes, but it wasn't like significant, like big swaps or anything yeah. like it was it was pretty uh, minuscule and um i've been pretty comfortable on my bike for a while now so i'm just just kind of dialing in um and you don't really you don't really know where to go when it comes down to changing stuff until you go racing and you kind of get your feet wet and with with how things are prepped for for this kind of racing so um yeah i don't know i'm probably the most comfortable i've ever been going in outdoors so for me that's that's you know that's confidence and then obviously the way i was ending supercross just stacking good results against some good guys like i think i'll be good this year well when i talked to you in salt lake city you said you were pretty excited for outdoors because it's maybe the best you've felt coming from a supercross season into a uh, pro motocross so how has the two weeks since then been with testing and everything getting ready to go yeah uh really good uh, i felt really good i uh, have a lot of good competition to ride with at the farm so uh it's been good uh, with your own expectations, I feel like before you went out of the series last year, you were building towards being a top five guy in motocross. Do you feel like that's where you want to start this time? Like just be right there in the mix and build towards being a top five more, uh, yeah, more consistently? Yeah for, yeah, for sure. I think uh, like how I feel right now, uh, fitness wise, uh, health wise, speed wise, I think that um, I should be battling in the top five every, every race, uh, every chance I get. So um, yeah, we're going to try and start that here at Paula. How do you feel about this racetrack? Is this one that you uh, you like, that you look forward to starting the series on, or is it one that you're like, let's get through it, then we can get into the real tracks a little um, bit later yeah, on? Yeah, Paula for me, uh, it's not necessarily one that I, I like, enjoy that much, but it's not one that I dislike either. It's just kind of like a middle of the road track for me. Um, so I, you know, I'm uh, not someone that has spent a ton of time in California um, riding, so it's not necessarily like a home track feel like yeah. the, some of the guys have. So. Um, but I always feel pretty good here, so um, it's a little bit of a different kind of dirt than a lot most of the other tracks we race. So um, yeah, it's pretty good. Is it nice coming off Supercross? That it's not going to be a steamer on Saturday too. It's going <laughs> to be nice weather. I feel good right now. I feel like uh, hot weather 
longer motos uh, would, <laughs> would benefit me. So um, I'm praying for hot as weather as we can get this summer. But uh, yeah, this one's definitely going to be a little chilly. Uh, jumping on to a 450, uh, how's that transition been for you so far, getting used to the extra power again? Um, it's nice. You know, it's uh, it actually takes a little bit to get used to. Just uh, I don't know, It's always easier to dial on a 250 with chassis and stuff like that. And uh, 450 just requires that much more hold up. It's just that much more inertia and whatnot. So it takes a little bit, but um, I'm excited. I, I like riding the 450 and um, looking forward to getting back on uh, even for SMX with it. So it should be good. You said at the end of Supercross that you emptied the tank, uh, proverbially speaking, for Supercross. So how did that kind of go the next week and a half of just kind of building back up to get ready to go racing again? <laughs> I, uh, after Salt Lake, I, I did uh, three days worth of testing. I did Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So they're actually big, long days. I didn't do any motos. My first... Uh, 230s I did were this past Monday. So um, I'm going to go off uh, the years of uh, base that I have built up and then it's just kind of go. I mean, at this point in time, it's, it's actually nice when you have all Supercross and you have the race intensity. So it doesn't really feel as bad when yeah. you go into the first round. So it does seem like you're out there for a long time. But as far as like fitness wise, like the time still gets put in. It's just right. uh, the overall uh volume for putting in 30s isn't there but i'll get that throughout the year so well, we seem to hear it a lot from you guys that like i haven't had enough 30s i haven't had enough at this time but so does it feel like everyone's in the same boat then like you guys yeah. are all going into the first round in the same spot yeah kinda. yeah yeah and it's hard to do 30s during the week especially when you got to fly out and do supercross and stuff like yeah. that and especially for me riding a 450 during the week and then riding a 250 on saturday it's always it's kind of hard to jump back and forth you know yeah. what i mean so um after salt lake it was nice to just strictly focus on the 450 get everything all dialed in and then run through everything that we had last year and whatnot so um it just kind of helps speed up the process and whatnot. Um, and Jamie from Twisted came up with some new stuff, like I said, up in the press conference and had to run through some new mapping and whatnot. So, um, and we'll see how it goes after Paula. I mean, nothing really gets dialed in for sure until like high point-ish, you know what I mean? Where <laughs> yeah. everything kind of gets honed in oh, yeah. and everyone's kind of happy, you know, everyone just, uh, we're all just a bunch of pinballs trying to find our way through. So um, we'll just see who's the best pinball for the first couple rounds. Is it nice then that the first round it's not going to be a steamer? It's going to be nice weather, pretty low temperatures, so you guys will get burnt out right away. Yeah, too. it kind of eases us into the into the grind a little bit. So um, and that's actually good for the track too because everyone knows yeah. how Polly gets baked out and a little mm -hmm. squirrely. So it'll allow them to keep water and moisture into the ground. So uh, just hopefully it's not too overly deep to where the insides are just a quagmire and shit so i think the, they'll find a good balance and whatnot but uh yeah it'll be weird riding a national when it's 65 degrees out so <laughs> it uh it'll spoil us for sure yeah take me through the transition first of all going from 250 back to 450 again and getting used to the bike again yeah, it's, uh, it's been a good transition. I've had a 450 practice bike all year, so I've been flip-flopping back and forth even in Supercross, um, so it's pretty pretty easy. I, I feel at home on the 450. 250 would be more of the adjustment for me. Um, yeah, feeling good. Got some time in California here on outdoors. I'm um, healthy right now, and yeah, ready to go. Are you happy with Supercross? Like, did it go better than you thought it would or about where you expected to be or what? Uh, I think this is my best Supercross year I've, I've had, and... Um, you know, I did have some top 10, so it was pretty big for me just personally. You know, I don't know what really comes from that, but it was cool to check those boxes for myself mm -hmm. and uh, kind of be in the next group in front of me instead of, you know, just trying to make the main. So it was, uh, it, for me, it was a great year. I had a great time with the Gizmo Mods Rock River team, and everybody did a great job. Um, happy with the bike and um, started working the new suspension guy this year, Clint Staves, he's mm -hmm. been a huge part of the program, getting me dialed in. He spent a lot of time at the test track in California with yeah. me, and uh, yeah, I owe a lot to him for dedicating some, you know, his time for me during the week, and uh, I think it showed on the weekends. You've had some really strong rides outdoors in the past, so do you look at that now based on how your off-season and coming into this has gone, that those old rides are kind of like the base level where you want to be and you want to go above that? For sure. Uh, you know, everybody's kind of the same place right now. You don't really know where you're going to stack mm -hmm. up, and um, just basing off previous years and where I'm at right now, it's taking a little pressure off my shoulders. Mm -hmm. Whether I do good or bad, it's uh, you know it always seems to work out in the end. So um, I think I'm in a good place. I've been putting in the motos and feel strong. So 
Good. Being a bit more East Coast guy, are you excited for these first couple of the hard-packed outdoor California rounds? Are you ready to move on already? Uh, well, I've been living in California for a couple years now, yeah. so I don't really have much of an excuse out in California <laughs> now to not do good. But I am planning on heading back east after Denver uh, and spending some time back on the East Coast. And I'd like to get some time in Michigan, too, to just get back home to my friends and family and ride a little bit there in the summer. So, yeah, it's going to be a fun summer. We're going to be doing a lot out of the van, a lot of traveling, a lot of driving. But um, I think it's the way I've got it set up. Uh, I think it'll be a fun summer. Doing good out here, racing dirt bikes. About to, about to go do some press day, throw some whips, over jump some jumps, break the bike in a little bit. You know, <laughs> no, we're just excited. Just get the get the outdoor grind going, outdoor legs under me. Even though you guys ride this track all the time, you're still gonna over jump stuff or what? Dude, I've only ran here three times all year, so. I'm definitely going to over jump some stuff or case something, I don't know. <laughs> Do you like this place? Yeah. I mean, every every track I go to I love, you know, no matter how I feel about it after. But, <laughs> no, I'm excited to race here. The last few weeks I rode it, it was really good. So, as long as it's it's prepped right and the weather's going to be beautiful this weekend. So, it should be good and we're gonna go race and do good so that's even better <laughs> how's the fitness because i know you had to take a little bit of time off the bike mid uh, supercross so are you feeling back to yourself again a little bit yeah i'm starting to feel good uh i fit, was just figuring out some uh dieting stuff too that uh i feel like starting to help me right now so yeah bikes and been doing a lot of testing on the bike team's been working hard so yeah we're everything's kind of coming together and i'm starting i'm starting to figure it out a little <laughs> bit you know just taking my time unfortunately but you know, it's it's been good. Like, it's it's part of the process, and luckily I got the the patience of the team with me, and yeah, they're 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 all stoked for me, and um, just I'm in a good spot right now mentally. That's for sure. Like, I'm just happy to be here and happy to be healthy right now, going into the season where Supercross I retore my ACL the fr the week before the first round. You know, yeah. so I feel like right now I'm 100% healthy going in, and just excited to see what I can do. You know, like. Especially right now, like I'm feeling really good, so we'll we'll see. First of all, Stopwatch National ended not the way you wanted. Are you okay from that crash? Yeah, yeah I'm good. A uh, little sore last week. I'm recovered this week. First moto was good. Second moto definitely wasn't ideal. Coming through the pack and uh, caught a rock on the side of the bank coming out of the corner. I'm sure most of you've seen the crash. wasn't wasn't pretty, but <laughs> luckily we're good. Um, I'm excited to start this uh, outdoor season off. Are you happy with how everything felt before the crash? Because you look pretty confident, smooth, comfortable on the bike, everything like that. Yeah, no, I feel good. I feel uh, probably the most confident on my bike outdoors that I have in a while. So that's been really good. Um, the team's been working their butt off. Everything, uh, everything's going well so far. So I think, I mean, see where we're at this uh, first round, but. Um, I expect to come out swinging and then just build off of that throughout the, throughout the season. In terms of comfort on the bike, when did you get on outdoor testing and do you feel like you've had maybe the most you've had coming into a season, about the same? Um, well, overall, no. This is probably, or coming into this, I probably had like three weeks total of outdoor testing, which isn't ideal, but I'm healthy. And I haven't really came into outdoors healthy out of Supercross in a while, so. For me, um, it's kind of refreshing. I mean, I don't need all the time in the world and outdoors. I mean, I grew up riding it just like everybody else on yeah. the on the track. So it's more so just getting the dialed set up, which we have right now. So I'm excited things excited to get things rolling. For you at a round like this, everyone is pretty familiar with this racetrack. How do you kind of rank it with your own feeling on it? I mean, for me, I'm a SoCal native now i guess you could say so <laughs> this would be a home race for me yeah um but it's so much different than anything we get on a normal tuesday out here so it's hard to say i mean not many people are a fan of this place i i don't know if i'd sway towards one way or the other but i'm just i'm just happy to go racing was it one of those places then where you feel like if i just get out of here with a good result then we can get into a bit of a flow or are you looking to start with a bang on the season um I mean both. I uh, obviously want to make a statement for sure, but if we come out here with a good result, I would be more than stoked to like come at a high point with some momentum, or not high point, hang time, <laughs> with momentum, you know? Whatever the next round is. Whatever the next round is. I don't know. I just show up.